Good morning, everyone, or at least it's morning here. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a trial and error day. We're making pot roast, but we are comparing the Instapot to the Crock-Pot. We're going to see which one cooks the best roast and which one is the best. So stay tuned. First, let me ask if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to. I would love for you to be a part of the Farm and Pastor's Wife family. Be sure to hit that bell notification, select the word all so you don't miss any of my content, which I upload videos mo mainly on cooking, mostly on cooking, mainly. <laughs> anyway, cooking, grocery hauls, clothing hauls, farming videos, all, gardening videos, all sorts of things you'll get here at this channel, and I would love for you to be a part of it. Um, I'm honored and I'm blessed that you're here today. So, thank you so much. So stay tuned. We're going to see which one works best. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Okay, so I am not, I am a creature of habit and I'm set in my ways. So let me just go ahead and tell you that. Uh, and I'm putting it out there up front. Um, in fact, the air fryer craze that went on, I was not on the bandwagon until a company sent me one for me to try out for the channel. And I was like, okay. Well, I have to say, I have fallen in love with my air fryer. I use it all the time. Um, I even cook steaks in the air fryer, and they are delicious. Pork chops in the steak fryer are delicious, so I am in love with my air fryer. I still haven't, so far, not gotten on the Instapot bandwagon. And I have one. Well, actually, I purchased this one at Christmas and gave it to Caroline. Well, she never uses it, so she's regifted it back to me and um so my friend jeffrey over at old school i never get it. <laughs> i never get it right old school soul food <laughs> it takes me a while anyway um he told me he loves his instapot and i really need to give it a try so the other day i boiled eggs in it and i have to say they were absolutely perfect they peeled perfect it, and you can do a ton and they're not going to crack and break. I did have one explode, but I think it was already broken when it went in. Um, so it absolutely, it does perfect in the, the eggs wise, but how does it cook? I don't know. I love my pot roast in the crock pot, but we're going to try it in the Instapot. pot. We're going to try one in each one. So we better get our meat hunger on because we're going to need it tonight. So let me just tell you, let me bend you down. I bought two roasts, two chuck roasts. They are pretty much, let's see, let me turn them this way. I'm going to try to get y'all out of the shadow. They're pretty much identical. This one does have some extra marbling and fat in it, but they're pretty much the same size, the same cut of beef. Um, like I said, this one does have some extra marbling um, rather than this one. So I'll probably give in the Instapot a little up. I'll put this one in the Instapot because we all know that marbling is good. So um, almost the same weight. Let's see. This one is 2.15. This is 2.44. So, I mean, still a little over two pound steaks. Uh, steaks. Roast. Chuck roast. So we're going to... I'm going to season them exactly the same, which I, I'm, I'm very simple when it comes to my pot roast. Now, my daughter makes the Mississippi pot roast and it is delicious. When she makes it, I eat it. I love it. But when I fix one, I fix it very simply. 
salt, pepper, onions. That's it. And a little bit of water. That is it. Uh, if I have celery seed, I might sprinkle some celery seed, but for the most part, salt, pepper, onions, that's it. So we all know the Instapot doesn't have to go on now. So this steak is going to, why am I saying steak? This roast is going to hang out and wait a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get this one into the crock pot. And, um, and let me just say, there's a lot of things that look like this, and, and I refer to them as crock pots. But not all of them are the crock pot brand. So if I ever get out my other crock pot or my other slow cooker and refer to it as a crock pot, yes, I know it may not be the crock pot brand, but that's kind of the term that has been universally spread throughout the slow cookers. So this one is a crock pot, um, but my other one, I'm not sure what it is. Um, so just know, I know it's not the brand crock pot, but anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one started. I'm going to get everything over here and I'll bring you right back. All right. Y'all see, I have my meat, my roast in here. I'm going to go in with about a quarter cup. Yeah, about a quarter cup of water. You probably don't even need that, but we're going in with it just to, just because. All right. I'm going to take... <clears throat> One of my heart spoons of salt. <clears throat> One of my heart spoons of pepper. We're going to sprinkle in a couple of sprinkles of celery seed. And I have half of an onion. I'm going to save the other half for the Instapot. I'm going to put it in a plastic bag, stick it in the refrigerator, and save it for the Instapot roast, and I'm just cutting this onion and dropping it in. All around here. All right, we're gonna get this on low. Cook, I'm gonna turn it on low and cook it for approximately eight hours. So, we're gonna see which one works best. Now I'll bring you back when it's time to get the one in the crock in the Instapot going. Now let me tell you, I'm not searing. There's no searing on either one. I'm going to do them both the exact same way, just cooking difference is it. But we're going to season it. I'm not searing. It's just cooking. So we're going to get this in the crock pot on low, and I'll see you back when it's time to start on the Instapot roast. Okay guys, so Judith is taking a nap. Those of you that don't know, I'm keeping my grandson three days a week and today's one of those days. So he's actually taking a nap. So this is the best time I have to get the roast on in the Instapot. Um, even if it's done before supper, we'll try them when they're done. Uh, I won't bore you with the sides. So we'll just do a taste test when they're both done and see which one we prefer. So let me grab everything again, bring it over here, and we'll get ready to put it in the Instapot. Okay, so here in my pan, let's see if I can turn this up just a little bit. I have the roast in there. Now the only thing that I am going to do differently is all the instructions I found said to add a cup of beef broth or water or a cup of liquid. Whereas in my crock pot I only added like a fourth to a third of a cup um, so I'm actually going to add a whole cup in here I don't want it to burn or stick or anything so that being said everything else is going to be exactly the same going in with a teaspoon of salt that looks like a little much teaspoon of black pepper sprinkling of celery seed and we're going to slice up an onion
Okay. So, let's come over here to the Instapot. I did not put the rag in. I left it out. So, let me... Pull it over here, get it plugged up. <laughs> okay, so we're going in. I'm making sure it's set to ceiling. All right, so we're gonna do manual. And I'm gonna go up to 50 minutes. Five zero. Let's wait for the beep. There we go. Okay. So um, I'm gonna pull it out. Actually, I was gonna, but I'm making sure the lid's on ceiling. You know what? I don't want that there under my cabinet. I'm gonna move it. I don't want that under my cabinet. I'm gonna move it over here on my island because the steam, you know, I don't want it to mess up my, I don't think it will, but hang on, let me move it. All right, so we're back over here. So we're gonna hit manual. Oh, it, can't, it, it remembered, look at that. So we'll wait for the beep. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna build a pressure. Once it builds to pressure, then the 50 minutes will start counting down. When I get to the end of the counting down period, I'm gonna let it slow release, which means it's gonna release on its own. I'm not gonna vent it up here at the lid. Um, I'm going to just let it do it on its own. So, we are about to see which one makes the best pot roast. So this is really fun to me. I like this kind of video. Do you guys like this? Um, the comparison. I've been wanting to do a store brand versus um, name brand taste test because Bryant says he can tell on some things. He says, I can't tell on some things and I say I can. So um, I, I wanna get that together, but it's that's kind of an ordeal of getting it together. So, um, and one thing he would, I would want to know if he can tell the difference on it is mayonnaise. Now I cannot do that because I cannot just take a spoon of mayonnaise and eat it. I, I can't do that. He can. So that may be one of those things that he tries and I don't. So anyway, I am super excited to see how this turns out. Um, it's going to be so much fun. Like I said, I'm not going to bore you with the side dishes. Uh, in fact, I may get these cooked and wait and have this tomorrow night for supper. I don't know what we have planned today uh, or tonight. I really need to go to the grocery store. And I haven't even filmed for my Saturday end of week vlog at all this week at all. So I'm not sure what tonight holds, but I'm super excited to see how these two roasts turn out, crock pot or the Instapot. Okay guys, as you can see, my time still says just on. It hasn't changed to the 50, so that means it's still coming to pressure. But as you can, I hope you can see, I'm starting to get a little bit of steam coming out, or I was, but now it's popped up, and that means pressure is beginning to build. So, we're gonna let that pressure build, and then once it gets to pressure, then we will see the number 50 and it'll start counting down from that point. Okay guys, they're both ready and we're gonna take a look first before we taste. So um, let me get you turned down here so you can see everything and I'll slide you over here to the crock pot. It smells delicious. We're gonna see how tender, very tender, looks very tender. How long did it cook? Um, eight hours. 
On low? Actually, probably seven hours on low. All right, I don't want to taste it yet, so I'm going to scrape that off. All right, let's come over here. And I haven't even opened this up, and I can't see, so we're going to... Okay, it's definitely juicier, but that's because I did put extra water in here. That was the only change I made. So, and it's tender as well. All right, so I'm going to put the Instapot pot roast on the farm plate, on the pig plate. I should put it on a cow plate. This is really tender, y'all. All right, so there's that one. And let me get the one out of the crock pot and I'll put on the white plate. All right, let me call Brian in here and we'll give it a taste test. All right, so I would say say that the one out of the Instapot may look a little bit more tender. Um, can you want to cut those off? See yeah. if that helps? Yeah. We've got a little bit of a glare. And I'm not sure what that lock sign is. Well, that went dark. No, that's fine. That'd be fine. That's really dark. They can't see the lock sign, I don't think. But anyway. okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to try the crock pot first. Here it is on the white um, little piece of fat there. What do you think? <laughs> All the pepper stayed on the top. <laughs> Burnt my tongue. Alright. I know I'm going to like this. Tastes like normal. I got a bite full of black pepper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna try the Instapot. Now, it seems a little more moist and maybe a little more tender. I don't know if it's because I put the extra water in there or not, but let's try it. Don't, don't say anything. Mm -hmm. You see something flying around. We have a little fly that's visiting. <laughs> um. Okay. Everything is seasoned the same. The only difference was I put a little extra water in here because the recipe's all set a cup. Okay. Ready for your verdict? You go first. Well, I really think. The Instapot is probably the winner to me. Um, and I don't know if that's because it did have a little bit more marbling or the extra water. But I would say it's a little more tender. What's your thought? But I think they're both delicious. I don't I'm think still it, eating a crock pot one. I don't think it's more tender. I just think it's not as dry. Mm -hmm. Because this one, you could have been covered a little more with water in a crock pot. Mm -hmm. To me, they're both great. They really are. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade one for the other. Right. There's so little difference. Yeah. That it just doesn't matter. It's whatever's convenient for you. If it's more convenient for you to put it on of a morning and let it go all day and have it ready for supper, then you need to go with the crock pot. If you forget to put it on and you get home from work and you're thinking, "Oh no," then the Instapot's your answer. So I would say, depending on how you want to cook it, like your timeline. Either one, I think, would do a great job. <clears throat> to me, if, if I was going to have cream potatoes and I wanted the broth over my potatoes, I think the crock pot has more of a beef color to mm -hmm. it. The, the Instapot's a little more translucent. Um, so I'd say this probably has a better beef broth. Um, now, one thing, not that Leslie does anything wrong, one thing I do a little different. I'll put my onions under my and mm -hmm. uh, under my roast to try to get the water to saturate a little more with the onions. But uh, either one of these was superb. Good job, baby. Doc. All right. So, so far, 
there's not a clear winner. Both of them are winners. Both of them. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. there is a clear winner. Mm -hmm. Both of them. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely am not afraid of the Instapot any longer. It was super easy, super um, friendly, user friendly. So, um, yeah. So there you have it. Thank you guys for watching the Farm and Pastures Wife. I'm gonna bring you a little closer now, and you can cut those lights back on. Um, I told you it was dark without those lights. Um, thank you for watching the Farm and Pastures Wife. If you like this kind of video, where we're comparing things, whether it be food or whatever, let me know and leave it down in the comments below. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Thank you.